In 2000, Californians made more than half a billion trips between the state's different regions. By 2030, that number will double to nearly one billion. With demands on our roads, our airports, ever increasing as our population and economy grow. With the passage of Proposition 1A in November 2008, California established itself as the leader for building America's first world-class, environmentally friendly transportation alternative for the 21st century. A truly high-speed system, rivaling the best-known systems already operating in 11 countries around the world. Traveling at speeds up to 220 miles per hour over an 800-mile route, it will risk riders from downtown Los Angeles to downtown San Francisco in just over two and a half hours. California's high-speed train system will be the largest public works project undertaken in the state in 50 years. Building this state-of-the-art network will create more than 600,000 construction jobs and another 450,000 permanent jobs. Clean, electrically powered high-speed trains will also provide crucial environmental benefits. By using just one-third the energy per passenger of airplanes, and one-fifth the energy per passenger of automobiles, high-speed trains will help California meet long-term goals for reducing greenhouse gases, eliminating as much as 12 billion pounds per year, and reducing the state's demand for oil by 12.7 million barrels annually. With trains carrying up to 1,000 passengers departing as frequently as every five minutes during peak hours, High-speed trains will carry as many as 100 million passengers per year by 2030, about 10% of the state's inter-regional traffic. Train stations will be developed to connect with local and regional transit systems and airports. Locating stations within existing transportation corridors will continue to promote transit-oriented development within urban centers, helping ease urban sprawl and loss of open space. The first step in building California's high-speed train is design and environmental review. State and federal law require a full environmental analysis to assure that all significant environmental impacts are identified and mitigated with alternatives fully considered. In 2005, the California High-Speed Rail Authority completed the first level of environmental review for the full statewide system. Now the authority is preparing detailed project-level environmental review reports for each individual section of the system. Those sections are San Francisco to San Jose, San Jose to Merced, Merced to Sacramento, Merced to Fresno, Fresno to Bakersfield, Bakersfield to Palmdale, Palmdale to Los Angeles, Los Angeles to Anaheim, Los Angeles to San Diego via the Inland Empire. In addition, the Authority and regional partners are pursuing a passenger rail improvement project in the Altamont Corridor connecting Stockton and San Jose. Each of these sections will undergo a separate detailed environmental review, public input from individual residents who live along the proposed high-speed line, to local governments and non-governmental organizations, is part of the planning process. Community meetings are held to provide citizens with details about the project in each section and to listen, answer questions, this kind of depth of profile, you know, and you know. seek input. Is that something that you're considering? Next, a draft environmental impact report and statement will be issued identifying preferred routes through each section. A second round of public input and review will occur before a final analysis is completed and route selection is made. While construction of local projects necessary to support the system could begin as early as 2010, construction of key components of a high-speed train are expected to begin in earnest by 2012. High-speed train systems are among the most sophisticated engineering projects in the world. 
To build the high-speed train route, California will draw on the expertise and experience of those who have already built other high-speed train systems. Building the bridges, tunnels, and track required for high-speed train travel will create hundreds of thousands of jobs. Early benefits will be evident as existing conventional train corridors are upgraded with electrification, improved track, separated grades that eliminate crossings, and fail-safe automatic stop safety control systems. As construction continues, California's first high-speed train will begin running on a designated test section. Engineers will fine-tune the many complex systems that make high-speed train travel the safest in the world. By 2020, passenger service will begin on the Anaheim-Los Angeles to San Francisco backbone of the system, a route of roughly 500 miles. The Merced to Sacramento and Los Angeles to San Diego sections will then come into service several years later, completing the entire 800-mile system. The California High-Speed Rail Authority's Board of Directors, appointed by the Governor and the Legislature, is committed to managing the project at the highest level of fiscal accountability. An independent and qualified peer review committee will also review the planning, engineering, and financing of the California High Speed Rail Authority's plans. Periodic audits will be performed by the state auditor. California is on track to the future. Clean, electrically powered high-speed trains are the best means for meeting Californians' mobility demand in the 21st century and will put Californians at the forefront of the emerging green economy. By providing unprecedented safe, comfortable, environmentally sustainable travel from city center to city center, California is leading the way into America's future. The future begins now.